Nalaman po tayo. Yung mga nasa labas, hindi lang kayo. Okay. Ano yung pa? Watching online, uh, you can do that too. And uh, MOBC Northridge, okay, in YouTube. And uh, just subscribe uh, for our church also uh, uh, in our services. Please uh, invite someone to our church every Sunday. And also, uh, what else I forget? Uh, birthdays, anniversaries. And the Thank you so much for your anniversaries and uh, more blessed to come to you all. And uh, I missed something, I just can't remember. 
And I think this is time getting old, right? <laughs> you know, you know, a few minutes ago, I know you forgot, but uh, I'll get you know ne next week or today. Flowers also, if you want to bring flowers, our flowers is the everlasting flowers. <laughs> so if you want to bring flowers every Sunday, that will be great. You know? And uh, so uh, it's a wonderful flower. It never dies. <laughs> it's always fresh. So every Sunday, every you know, Sunday. you'll see him there standing, standing tall, you know. <laughs> uh, just bring flowers also if you want to sing for God every Sunday. Question number in the morning. Right, Peter, repeat your voice. The last time you sang in, is in the uh, Magnolia. Do you remember that song? I sang here. This was when we were doing the study of Revelation. I think I'm absent. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm absent. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we, we I mean, like a few years, a few years ago. Two years, years ago. Two years ago, we were doing the study on Revelation. All and right. In the morning time, you were absent, Pastor. Much to my dismay. At least I'm not. We lose your voice. You know, everybody has stories. So, I mean, like, if you want to use your voice for God, then uh, again, use it. Use it. And before. <laughs> guys start like take our voices the good voices you know angelic from the bottom you know so, <laughs> <laughs> from, from the, top. the bottom <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 from the bottom <laughs> all right i just wanted to just uh, <laughs> i know you've been blessed yesterday and i know you were uh uh gave food and uh, i just want to just have a little bit before we start this afternoon and now it's almost 1.30 and my time is over. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Let's uh, study uh, the book of Philippians chapter 3, which is uh, one of our familiar verses. We titled this uh, Wednesday, Gospel Hour. It's talking about the race. It's talking about the life of Paul. It speaks about the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 of the verse 13. Apostle Paul speaks about the what we call the the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. But there is one thing you will see here. In, in other words, you will see in the story, what he's saying is this. I'm not done yet. Mm. I need to attain more. Mm. I want to gain more. Mm. Not on material things, but knowing or learning who Jesus Christ is. That's what he's saying in this story. That's why he's explaining here. And to those things, there are principles that we need to learn as being the children of God. Today, our subject is very simple. The principle of growing and forgetting. The principle of growing and forgetting. It's hard for us to move on. It is hard for us to go up if we then forget what we have done before. That's what Apostle Paul said in verse 12, very clear. Not as though I have already attained, either were though I had been perfect, but I follow after that if that I may apprehended, that for which also I apprehended of Jesus Christ. Verse 13 he said, Brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do. Remember again last week we talked about one thing, right? Right here, absent. <laughs> right? Last week, we talked about one thing. Remember one thing I said last week? <laughs> no one remembers. <laughs> because they're all absent. <laughs> because you forget. We forget things. But again, I remind you, the word one thing, you will not see in one portion of the scripture. You will see the scripture. It follows here, I said, but this one thing I do, we're in verse 13, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before. And what is the application for us as being the child of God? What God is saying through us? We talk about truth, and may God bless the reading of His word regarding this matter. We know about truth, we know about this, this knowing how to live in Christ. We know the principles of following the instructions of God. We, we know that, that the scripture is a living word of God. And what he's saying is this. 
I'm not done yet, and there are certain things that I want to learn to myself. There are certain things that I need to do to myself to know who is rich, who is Jesus Christ is in my life. And there was we just understand who is Jesus Christ in our life when what? When we are in the place called blessings. When we remember that how God is well with us, how God is good to us, how God met our needs, how God provides anything that we ask for. That's why we need to understand the focus or the principle of learning and get and getting all things through what? Through forgetting what things that we need to do to ourselves. What are the things? Let me give you some some example here. What are the things that not easy to forget? Tell me things. <laughs> to eat, right? You don't forget to eat. Or you know something that easy to forget. Utang. Utang, especially credits. Okay. If I owe you something, brother, it's been three months now. You can pay me yet. <laughs> when you come to me, oh. the bus just come out like that. And I really need me to you, but now you still forgetting. Right? We we forget things. We we just kind of think that you know that maybe anger, maybe bitterness, maybe hatred. And maybe people that hurt us, that until this moment of time, we can't forget or we can't forgive them. You cannot move forward if you're still in that situation. You cannot go out there if you're still in this kind of attitude or whatever thing in your heart. That's why Paul gave a principle, the, the Word of God gave us principles on how to forget, on how to forget things, and how to go and go forward for the things that God wants us to do. Now, it's like what I said this morning, it's a series, it's just introduction. And I, I just like I said, also, my time is over, it's one third one already. So I have to make it quick, amen? Amen. Don't make it too long. <laughs> All right. Now, we know this verse. Then the question is, when the said this to these people, brother, I count on myself. And it follows that to be apprehended. And it follows that, but this one thing I do. You know what's he saying here? I need to go forward. I need to go a little bit more. I need to do something to myself. I need to just what? I need to discipline myself. I need to focus what God is saying. I need to focus what is the scripture telling me. Because, again, you cannot move on if you don't learn and understand the word forgetful or forgiveness. Now, there is only one point that I will give to you this afternoon. In order for us to understand this, we have to go to reach and to reach for us to able to attain or to grow in our spiritual life. Any hindrances, it's like what he said this morning in Hebrews chapter 11, everything there that is said to us, everything that you carry in your shoulder, as long as you don't learn to lay it down to God, you cannot move on. As long as you don't entrust everything to God, you cannot go on. As long as you don't understand what God's saying to us, although we understand the real meaning of forgiveness. Let me repeat myself. It's talking about not your neighbors. It's talking about you. It's talking about us. It's talking about what we have. Because there are things that we don't want in our life. There are things that until this moment of time, we cuddle them in our hearts. Is the scripture clear? Even though how clear the scripture is, if we don't apply this in our life, if we don't put our foot in this in the scripture, if we don't lay ourselves in the scripture, if we don't learn how to surrender our life to the scripture of the ways of God, what you are today, you can be the same thing after the following day, after a year, after a year, after a year. Because why? Because you don't know what the Bible said. That's why I said here. You have to go and you have to reach for it to, to, to order for you to understand the word growing in Christ. Notice this. 
in order to reach, we need to what? We need to have an honest assessment to ourselves. Honest is not half and half. This morning, after I took a shower, I was like, I was going my hair, and like I see it, like I had a crescent moon in my head. <laughs> it's not a full moon yet. <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> to those of us, you know, I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, my hair, I don't know what side, left or right, to cover this crescent moon. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> and I was thinking about being a guy, maybe I bold my hair. But I think every time I see the camera, I'm like a peanut, you know. <laughs> because, or Giovanni, or Gabriel, or Paso, you're cash, you know. <laughs> because I'm not good at being bold. But I'm saying this, we, even to our age, we have to be honest about it, that we're not getting young. Even the Bible said, God said, our hair are numbered. Right? Our days are numbered. Our body is numbered. Nathan asked you a long time ago, Daddy, how come we can't dunk? How come we can't dunk the ball? What well, I said, I'm too old. For this. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't practice. I didn't, I, I got a small one, but the, the real one, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I tried to impress him, but all of a sudden my knee is like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and my heel is getting, hmm. I'm surrendering. <laughs> I don't want to ask Nick that. How come you have a cane? <laughs> <laughs> right? We try to do our best, but we, when we face the reality, when we do the assessment, when we do the ourselves, especially with our Christian living, it's not only the, our body, you will see that we're not there yet. We know we're not there yet, but for us, for us to see, to see it, it's like what? We have to assess ourselves. Am I being really honest about these things? Am I really honest to myself when I come to the house of God? Do I really put myself, my my spirit to it, myself to it, when I listen, I'm really affected, attentive to it. Paul declares that he has not obtained and knowing Christ is, even though we have not yet with Christ. But the point is, he wants to know more, even though he's there for 30 years, even though he's with the Lord Jesus Christ. But he wants him to know more and more to know who is Jesus Christ. You know this thing that he really discerned is his willingness to know who is Christ is. The same thing, to be honest with you, at this moment of time, even through us, in general speaking, you don't know who your wife is. My wife, I still, I still, I'm still asking her, what do you want? There, there are times that I, didn't understand, I don't understand her. I said to her, I speak Tagalog, I speak English, you don't understand me. What language do you want me to use? Means like, you know, even though you're years together as being a couple, you don't know you, who is your wife is or what kind of is she wants or what kind he wants. But do we have this thing that I want to know him more? If this through what's happening, Apostle Paul was saying this, I'm not there yet. I know who is Christ, I know who is Jesus Christ, I know He died for me, I know He saved me for all these things, I know He lived me up for all these things, but in spite of all these things, I want to know Him more. That's why through us is in order to reach, that we need to what? We need to be actively moving forward. We don't be just like what? A stagnant Christian that coming out of the church at the same person every time you come out. It means that when we talk about all these things, when we talk about pressing on, keeping on, what I'm saying is what? Pressing on for the purpose to lay hold, pressing on to the same manner that Christ did to lay up to Paul, that there is what the incarnation of having this willingness to follow who is Christ is. Declaring and doing that's what is that what is the right and not what is the popular is or well known is. This is focus. This is what he wants to do. He knows the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. He knows 
the extreme event what happened that time. And you all understand to see the resurrection of Christ till the job is finished. That he knows no one can help him, no one can finish the job except him. It's not somebody else to help you to grow or something that you know to build it. But you are responsible for everything that you do. For what? For the reaching for perfection. Reaching for the things that have been done. Reaching for those goals that you are attaining. You are attaining for those things that I want to finish. I want to continue. I want to finish. I don't know if you, when you finish your task and your work. Who was excited again? again? Who was excited Again, tomorrow, or today, or tomorrow, that you're going to work. Who's excited tomorrow? Of course, no one excited about work tomorrow, right? It's Monday. Work from home. But they think it's the wrong question. Because everybody now work from home. You enjoy it home. Right? But I'm just saying, you know, it's still a work. It's still a work. That's why to us here, when we look at a possible saying here, is about myself. It's about what God accomplished to me. It's about what God gave it to me. It's about what God finished to myself, what He did to me. And through that, I want to give Him more, knowing more in my entire life. Because what? Because He reaches me from my sin and He saved me through all of these things and He used me as a servant, a channel of blessing to others. And through that, he wants to finish the work, the job that God gave it to me. I know, for you, if, you, if you finish your job, I know what this feels like. When you finish the things that, what task given to you, what does it feel like? For me, if I accomplish my laundry, and I fold them, I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, like, there's like, you know, I could be on work home, a job. When I finish, I'm so, I feel relieved. I feel like all the stress or something that, whatever that I feel that I feel like, man, I was glad. I was happy. And that's talking about for your job. And think about, as I close, think about what God telling to us that you're desiring as a believer, as a children of God, Lord, here I am. You saved me. But I want to be like Paul, that I'm not there yet, but I want to know you more and more in my life. On how you give it all the things. That's why he said, not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after. I may apprehend it, that which also I am the bread of Christ Jesus. We're not in the portion of forgetting yet. We are in the portion of what will I do? What are the portion that I will do as a children of God? What are the things that I need to move on? What are the things that I need to practice in my life? Again, it's not easy to do all these things. But by the grace of God, we can able to counter all these things. We can able to, to overcome these things. Because the grace is always there for us. And number one point that I read again, we have to do, we have to go, we have to reach, we have to do all these things for us to able to grow. We have to lay aside everything that is what? That it hinders us from growing. Now, if we still cuddling those things in our lives, you see, you know, I see some people, small churches, they don't talk. Sometimes it takes me something. Why is brother and sister is not talking? Why is sister and brother not communicating to each other? It is small church. As I, mentioned, I hope there's nothing going on there. But I hope, you know, the fellowship is still sweet there. The spirit is always there to, 
just to see how the glory of God shone through his body. Can you see that to our church? Can you see that to different churches? And maybe we have our own thing. But I hope it's not the portion of because I don't tell the person because of this. The reason why I didn't tell the person because of that. Those are the things that I could say clogging your ears, clogging your hearts to hear the word of God. That's why you don't see the hand of God working to his church. If there's something viral, if there's something problem in the body of Christ, we know the work of Christ and the word that has been said will never return void to God, to this church. But their listeners are dull and they're just speaking whatever is good and not it's just I mean like keeping here man we have a problem it's like we have an eight in the church and we don't have that I hope we say are we yeah yeah we're blessed yeah 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 I hope it's not like that but again the portion of assessment the portion of being honest to ourselves that is the main factor that is the truth there we cannot again we cannot hide in our own shadows you can't do it but once we open our heart to Jesus and lay it to God Lord this is my situation then the process of growing it will follow that's why Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind. How many years should be Christian now? Are we moving forward? Or years goes by, we stepping backwards. I hope it's not the way it is. But in moving forward, where God placed us. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here today. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your word. It is a simple taste of the principles of knowing you the principle of of learning of having this growing and for and uh, i would say the forgetting lord lord you've been so good to us in so many ways you've been so blessed and you always pick us up when we fall you're always there for us to convict us for our sins you always father reminds us that who you are in the life giving us father today a heart that is with us to to willingness to to know you more in our lives lord and your father is not it's not easy it's not it's not it's not that we think in the way it is but we know father we need your grace we need your help to stand what the truth is all about we need to stand for your word help us father to open and understand to all these things father not our own ego not to our own willingness but what you put inside our heart that a heart that is open to receive your word. It might be correction, give you a blessing, Lord. Help us, Father, to see all these things. That we as one church, we grow together as a plan. It's like I said in the book of Psalms, chapter, chapter 1, verse 1 to 6, Lord. That there is all the things which is like we are like a plan. Allow you to water, Lord, that you show through us that we're growing together in you. Father, we pray that you bless our main time of our program, of our practice. May you bless this. Thank you for our willingness to use our voices. We pray to Jesus that you continue to help us and guide us for everything we do. Help us, Father, to consult you, Lord, for everything that we do. And just that we want to give you back the honor, praise, and glory for everything you've done for us. In Christ we pray. Amen. Thanks so much. It's already 1.30.